Hello and welcome to The Pulse, neighbors. This is your news and information program on all things Lake Wildwood. I'm your host today, Annette Stinger, and this is the news for Friday, July 5. First, from the desk of our general manager, Bob Mariani. Bob's report was intended as a lake update concerning the 4th of July festivities. Since the 4th was yesterday, I'm going to summarize his message as it is valid for the rest of the summer. So to quote Bob, the extensive studies conducted at the Lake Wildwood last year established that geese are responsible for the high indicator E. coli readings observed in the shallow water at the park beaches. It was also shown that goose fecal material contained the O157-H7 strain of E. coli in response to the studies conducted. The health department revised the swimming advisory for Lake Wildwood to emphasize the importance of not swallowing lake water and avoiding swimming in areas that are showing high levels of indicator E. coli and or are visible, have visible goose fecal contamination on the beach. We continue to strongly advise residents and guests to observe the advisory. Overall, the lake water quality is very good based on the EPA recreational criteria. Testing was expanded in the deeper water areas of the lake this season and that data continues to document no significant contamination anywhere in the lake away from the immediate sand beach shorelines. At the parks, we encourage everyone to review the E. coli test data posted on the association website and make informed decisions about the swimming. And please remember that test data is always one to four days old. So look at the data trends in the summary table to see where test results are consistently good for the time versus those areas that show periodic problems. Please observe the health department advisory and do not swim in areas reporting high E. coli levels or where there is visible goose fecal material on the shoreline." Close quote. So folks, the bottom line is please try not to drink the water. The, avoid any areas that have concentration of goose droppings and regularly check your lwwa.org website for the latest test results. And in the board news this week, the planning committee will be on July 10 at 1.30 in the Cedar Room. The business meeting will be on July 23rd at 1.30 also in the Cedar Room. A special meeting to approve counting of the ballots on the 25th or 26th, excuse me, at 11 o'clock in the Lake Room and the annual picnic and meeting is on the 27th and starts at 10 at Commodore Park. So please go to lwwa.org to find the agenda and your board packets. And in committee news, the Ad Hoc Fire Committee would like everyone to look out for red flag warnings. Please watch your local news as warnings will be posted also at the gates in the form of a large red flag. And also be sure to check the website ubinet.com for almost real time news on any fires. Also, to sign up for a defensible space advisory, please go to www.rufiresafe.com. There will be a chat with Chief Don Wagner of Penn Valley Fire District Tuesday, July 23, from 6.30 to 8 p.m. in the Lake Room at the Community Center. Hot topics will include red flag warnings, emergency alert systems, evacuation, and fire behavior in your neighborhood. Please bring your 2019-2020 wildfire preparedness guide. And a fun event all around the corner will be the 30th Ice Cream Social on Tuesday, July 16, starting at 6 at the Community Center. That will be near the pool, so come out and enjoy the Dollar Sundays and also a live band. There are some current openings for voting members for environmental, management, community relations, and planning committees. This is a perfect opportunity to serve your community. And a fun new addition to our neighborhood, the goats are here. 
Lake Wildwood is starting an effort to clean up the green belts in our community. In order to lower the vegetation load, that way we're able to see the dead trees, logs, branches, etc., etc., and to uh, use the testing with the goats. This is a very effective and environmentally safe alternative to building roads and bringing in large equipment to deal with the brambles, berry bushes, and thickets. One of the main concerns is the use of one or more guard dogs to protect the goats from local predators. This may include barking at those animals and humans approaching. The goats at any time during the day or night might react to this. The other side of this issue is the barking of residence dogs at the goats or guards. Here are the important rules to remember. First of all, please do not, do not under any circumstances feed the goats. Please don't touch the portable fence. And finally, do not tease the goats or their guard dogs. And another fun event tonight's Flick and Float is How to Train Your Dragon, The Hidden World, a great movie. The second session of the popular clinic Golf, Wine, and Cheese is scheduled to begin Monday, July 8 at 5.30 p.m. The clinic is designed for beginners to intermediate skilled golfers. The cost is $30 per clinic and will cover full swing, chipping, pitching, bunker play, and putting. Wine and cheese are included, so please call the Pro Shop at 432-1163 for details. And our wonderful Yacht Club has a busy, busy summer ahead. And so back with us today is Vicki Crambron with the details. My name is Vicki Cambron, and I am the Vice Commodore of the Lake Wildwood Yacht Club. And welcome to summer in Lake Wildwood. Um, if you've never been to a Yacht Club event, we have a lot. Um, just to let you know, today we're, op we're doing opening day, and right now everybody is enjoying sandwiches from Blue Cow potato chips and cookies. In June, we're going to have a miniature golf competition around the lake and people will go to different docks. They'll go and they'll try to hit their ball into a hole in one and the person with the least par wins a prize. And then in July, we're going to have a gong show that will be in the Cedar Room. In August, we're going to have a wine and beer tasting cruise. And then in September, we have the Beer and Brats in Commodore Park. And then October, we have our closing day parade, which is always followed by a nice warm bowl of clam chowder. And then we have our big event, our Commodore's Ball. So the Yacht Club is a lot of fun. We enjoy the summer, we enjoy the lake, and we hope you'll come and join us. And you can always check the pulse, our bits and pieces for dates and what exactly is coming up with the Yacht Club. Thank you, Vicki. There's many fine events planned ahead for this summer, so be sure to get out and enjoy them. Also, you might want to check out our Lake Wildwood Bocce Club. You'll be pleasantly surprised how much fun this group is having. The, um, you can have the game on two of the well-maintained bocce courts located at Meadow Park. Playing bocce is good exercise. It's inexpensive and easier than the, on the bones than other sporting activities. So for more information, check out the webpage at lwwa.org under clubs. And do you play or perhaps you're learning an instrument or how to sing? Come and join the music club and have a fun evening playing or singing some songs from the 60s, 70s, 80s, and 90s. They play mainly rock, folk, and some country. They meet every two weeks on Thursday from 6 to 9 in the Marina Rec Room at the Community Center. The next meeting will be July 11 and 25. And our Singles July Gathering will be Tuesday, July 16, starting at 5.30 in Hideaway Park. They will be hosting a barbecue feast, so please call Penny at 205. 8598 for details. And the Tennis Club's Friday Fun on the Courts has been a great success. Check the website for details. Everyone is welcome and sign-ups are not necessary. 
Good news too, most of our clubs will have booths at the annual meeting on the 27th, so do stop by, say hello, and maybe you'll find a club that you would love to join. Hope to see you there. And uh, security has announced that they are hiring. If you're interested, you need to contact Pete Newell at 432-1209. They have both full and part-time positions available for both the gate and patrol officers. Well, I thank you. That's the news for the week of July 5th. We hope that you'll consider subscribing to YouTube channel for the Pulse. And until next time, this is Annette Stinger saying have a great summer, have a great time on the lake, and see you soon.